can definitely see in many, many ways that um, the supervision of our maker is very deep and revealing deep secrets um, to every person. And everyone begins his journey to come closer to the truth, to the Creator, from a different place in his life. One is waking up when he's 20 years old, one is waking up when he's 30, one is waking up in his late 70s. Everyone is waking up in a different stage. And also, if two people woke up, both of them, on their birthdays when they were 27, still they are totally different and their knowledge is totally different and their awakeness and awareness is um, to different topics, different issues. And even if you will want to say that both of them woke up from that point that is called Avraham Avinu, Avraham our father, the same name Avraham represents different things in the minds of those two people. Because even if for both of them Avraham will reflect kindness and generosity and mercy, they have been exposed to those amazing attributes in their lives in different ways. So kindness represents a little different thing for one and a different thing for the other. In any way, our individual experience is totally individual and totally unique and special. And therefore we must work very hard not to compare ourselves to others because everyone in this lifetime is like a beam of light that has been sent by the Creator to shine on a different area, on a different spot. In the future to come when the redemption will take place, Every one of us has his place that he feels home, that he feels safe in, that he feels that that is his place. That if the redemption could have take place in one place and not in another, you would choose that place. And it's a different place than the place that your friend will choose. One will choose to be redeemed in his own house because that is his place of comfort and happiness. Another person will choose to be redeemed on the beach in front of the sea where the ocean is open wide in front of his eyes, and one will enjoy the blessing the most in the backyard of the house where he grew up in his childhood and on. Every person has a different location, a different point in his own heart that is unique and special for him. One will desire to see the redemption shines in the wisdom of the Torah. One will want to see the redemption in acts of kindness towards orphans and widows. One will desire to see charity spread in the whole wide world and poverty disappears from the world. One will want to see all his friends being redeemed from someone that is forcing them to do things against their will. Everyone has his point. And that is the point that we should connect ourselves to the Creator from. Means that if you go through certain things in life, you can never judge yourself for those challenges, for those weaknesses, for those issues that you experience. Because that is your mission, and for you is the path for your elevation. That is the way that you should connect yourself to your Maker, to our Maker. Everyone from His angle, from his point of view, from his location and position in life. And every one of us, only when we are together, we're completing the reflection of our Maker. The Creator shines in 360 degrees to all directions, to all angles. And those beams of light that are shining are us. He's shining His light through you. Inside of you there is a godly soul. And that godly soul is a lighthouse that shines through you to your surroundings. And all those lights that are shining through your positive speeches and words, 
when you express your thoughts, your feelings and your emotions, when you reveal your talents and your abilities and your skills, when you do good things that comes out of your heart, when you teach, when you listen, when you hear, when you learn, when you share, when you support, when you assist, when you do something good. Lights that are coming from the hidden source that is the sea of all souls, that is Hashem Himself, our Maker, are shining through you and expanding the light of our Maker to another circle, to another area, to another zone. And it is your responsibility, each and every one of us responsibility to shine, not to hide and not to block the light of Hashem. Think now of a person who learns Torah all day long. He sits and learns Torah. He is learning and learning and he knows tons of Torah. He knows the verses by heart. He knows the order of the books. He knows the halachot, the Jewish rules. He knows many Gemarot, Talmud. He knows a lot of Zohar Kadosh. He learns and learns and learns and learns and learns. All day long he is learning Torah. But that person is not nice. That person is not positive, he's not smiling, he's not friendly, he's not shaking hands, he's not being positive to people, he doesn't greet anyone with Shalom Aleichem and welcome and how are you doing, he's just not a positive person. So I'm asking you now, is that person a channel to channel Torah out? Can he spread the light of the Torah out? Can he expand the light of his maker out to the world with all the Torah that he holds, that he is holding within. For me, that person is like a cap, like the seal of a treasure. And not only that he is not distributing and shining the light of the Torah, he is the block of the Torah. He is the cover on the well that is not allowing access for other people to enjoy the light of the Torah. Because when people look at him and they're saying to themselves, okay, that is a Torah scholar, that is a Torah learner, I don't want to get Torah from him. I don't want to hear anything from him. He cannot even smile. He cannot even look at my eyes. He cannot even shake my hand. He cannot even communicate with me. And therefore, for me, he is not a messenger of light, so I cannot receive anything from him. So that person, even though he is busy, in learning Torah, 20 hours a day, 18 hours a day, 15 hours a day, he's just being used by the Yetzirah to block the Torah from the people who are thirsty and desiring the water of the Torah that are precious and pure and healing and can help them to recover and to grow and to understand themselves. But he, that poor person with his negativity, with his poor attributes, is blocking the light of the Torah just by stucking himself over there on that entrance and blocking people from getting into those gates of tshuva. Our mission and our main purpose is to light and shine the light of our souls to all our surroundings, to make the world an illuminating place for people to wake up for people to wake up to find their inner connection to our Maker. Not for people to follow you. Not for people to understand that you were right and that they were wrong. For them to understand ways how to communicate with their own souls. For them to appreciate themselves. To stop blaming themselves and chasing themselves and hating themselves. For them to stop criticizing themselves for them to love themselves and accept themselves and understand that they are part of the Creator's creation, that they are also creations of God. And with that understanding, that we understand that the Creator Himself, He is the one that made us as we are. He is the one who painted us, who designed us, who carved us, who printed us, who designed us, who made us the ones that we are. So how can we fight against His creation? How can we argue with what did He made to think that it's not perfect? To think that it's not good enough, that it's not beautiful? We are amazing. We are creations of the Almighty. We are His light that is shining. By being honest and truthful 
and not lazy and sad and depressed, we can shine the light out to the world and to reveal His unconditional love. Everyone in His way, everyone in the shades that are speaking from His soul out to the world to spread the light to our circles, to people around us, for them all to enjoy the prosperity that we have been blessed with. And may the Creator answer all our prayers and all our requests in no time, and the redemption will take place in our days. Amen. Ken Yehi Thank you.